Well, Drake did pop out in Toronto, Canada last night. He was a special guest as Nicki Minaj's tour took Canada. Obviously, Drake had a pretty long day. Kendrick Lamar dropped Euphoria. And as Drake exited the stage after performing some songs with Nicki, he did say, I got to go. Y'all know what I got to do right now, which many, many, many people believe that is go cook up a diss record in response to Kendrick Lamar. I have heard behind the scenes that Drake has something on Kendrick. I'm just telling y'all what I heard, the rumblings, and, and it's made it to the South. I'm in the South. I'm telling y'all, they say, whether it's true or not, Drake has an angle at Kendrick, and I'm hearing that a record might come this weekend. I'm hearing Friday or Saturday, you could very well expect a response from the boy to Kendrick Lamar. We shall see. And he got a lot to respond to. Man, I'm still just kind of mesmerized at how Kendrick tried to really tear down Drake's brand. Drake obviously is always associated with a lot of women, even from an artist perspective. So when he's on stage with Nicki, as I see the clips online, all I'm thinking about in the back of my mind is when this dude said, when I see you stand by Sexy Red, I believe you see two bad bitches. I believe you don't like women. That's real competition. You might as well pop ass with them. I'm like, oh my goodness, man. I don't know when Drake and Sexy Red plan to get next to each other. After that record, I need Drake to take a break from kicking it with Sexy Red. A one year minimum ban from Drake hanging out with Sexy Red. That, bruh, this dude Kendrick is a diabolical sick nigga. And that, like, that's the one where your lady's like, damn. Like, I, I'm listening to the, to, the, to Euphoria with, with my wife in the car with me. And when she heard that sexy red line, she like, damn. Like, oh, y'all going there with it? I believe you don't like women. That's real competition. You might want to pop ass with them. Yeah, man. And so I watched Drake before with Nicki Sub. He did it a thousand times over. And I'm like, man, man, get off this damn stage. Looking like a bad chick. Get off this damn stage, bro. This is not the time for that. Matter of fact, I'm shocked Drake didn't cancel that spot. I'm shocked the next time we didn't hear the voice of Drake was on a response. That, that's how shocked I am. That's how lethal a line like that was to me. But hey, we shall see. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. It's Drake versus Kendrick. Kendrick versus Drake. Drake got compared to Sexy Red by Kendrick Lamar. That is just... That is hilarious. That's 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 wild. Time, love, and support. Drake said, y'all know what he got to do. I'm out. If you are like me and love flexing your NBA knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports. That's Underdog Fantasy. For me, I love the pick'em game. It's super simple to play, too. All you got to do is go to the Underdog Fantasy website or app, pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that game, get all your picks right, and you can win up to 20 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use my code Ferro, your deposit will get doubled. You can't beat that. Again, head over to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy's website or app. Use my code Ferro, and your first deposit will get doubled. Do you want to see your favorite athlete live in action next time they're in your town? Or do you want to see your favorite artist performing in concert next time they're in a city near you? Head over to the SeatGeek website or app and use my code HoopsFero for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure you subscribe to the Is Mr. Telefero YouTube channel. And hey, donate a super chat. Follow me on Facebook at Is Mr. Telefero. Cop a supporter badge. The Underdog Fantasy promo code is Ferro. The SeatGeek promo code is HoopsFero. And follow me on Twitter at It's Mr. Ferro.